It's noon Thursday, March 26th here in Korea. Thanks for tuning in. Live from Seoul, I'm Oh Jin Ju. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. Today, March 26th, 2015, marks the fifth anniversary of the sinking of the South Korean warship Chonan by North Korea. Well, Pyongyang continues to deny responsibility for the attack that killed 46 young sailors. President Pekinez spoke at a ceremony marking the anniversary this morning and urged North Korea to give up its provocations. Chu Sun reports. From a chief petty officer who was only one month away from his wedding to another officer whose then newborn daughter is now five years old. President Park Geun-hye expressed her condolences to the 46 sailors who perished in the Chonan warship attack five years ago in a war on officer who lost his life in the recovery mission. While North Korea denies its involvement, a multinational team of experts had concluded that a North Korean torpedo was what caused the corvette to split in half and sink in the West Sea. Vowing to ensure the Korean people remember the men's honor and sacrifices for their country, the president promised to crack down on irregularities, specifically referring to the Navy's recent procurement corruption. In a message to North Korea, President Park highlighted that this year marks the 70th year that the Koreas have been divided and that it's time for the North to come out of its isolation and seek real security and development. Stressing that achieving unification in a way that satisfies South and North Koreans would be a way to ensure the sailors and the warrant officers' sacrifices are not in vain, President Bak said unification preparations must continue even if it's in the distant future. Choi Yu-san, Arirang News.